Hey everyone, Zev here and welcome to Discronia episode 3 overview. Okay, so I was gonna absolutely shit on the game <laughs> because before, as you remember, I was stuck playing episode 2 on quest 2 because for some reason the developers didn't know at all what is cloud saving system and was not using its pleasant features for the customers and I was so ready to be angry yet again but I just installed it on the Pro and it seems like everything's fine now. Like my save file is there, I can continue playing the third episode on the actual headset I'm using nowadays, not in the other generation essentially. So it's kinda crazy, the whole series started so long time ago, or it actually feels like it. And now it's finally coming to an end. Is it bittersweet? We'll see, because I have some mixed feelings about the whole scenario and stuff. So going into the episode 3 we'll <laughs> find out what's actually happening and hopefully wrap up the things that I was just confused about in general. Besides just AD and its annoyance I know that it won't really change much because it's pretty much the core of the gameplay. What I'd like to have however is some kind of input on the story because so far the experience has been pretty linear with nothing really changing depending on your decisions. Like in the long run it didn't really matter what you're doing maybe because it was split in the episode system so then in between the releases and the correlation with the files that might have been the main problem that it didn't seem like the core chrono series to me. I guess my perspective will be a little bit different as well now that we switch to the actual headset that I use because it's gonna have better graphics, better performance, my controllers will actually work properly. I mean maybe not really because I just switched from drift problems to tracking problems so can't have perfect things happening here huh? Overall I'm just excited to finish the story because it was not like it dragged on but with its periodic releases I basically just got lost and in some cases I forget what have happened or I'm just too out of touch with the world like I don't know where to put a blame on it maybe if I would play it now from start to finish everything would be more clear and I wouldn't complain so much that I do <laughs> but it's just how I feel about it and I can't really change that so I hope the episode 3 will be a turnaround of the events if there will be multiple endings <sighs> No idea, literally. It would be nice, but how that would work? <laughs> That's the biggest question of it all. <laughs> Let's go back, solve the case. Maya, we're done waiting. <sighs> Please. Oh yeah, that's how it finished, I forgot. <laughs> Here again. Yeah, the second episode was the same. But why? To remind you. <laughs> Is that hell over, over there? Over there? Hell, hell. Come on. Just like last time. More scenes from the past. I mean, it's a good recap because I remember maybe half of it. There's that beam of light again. Maya, where are you? So that was the plan the professor set in motion? The stolen clock tower key. No time to wait. Time to wait. I need you to Irie was supposed to have it with her. Cecilia. But... But he's pulling your strings. I need to get to the bottom of this. I need to hurry. Then do it. Once the analysis is complete, 
I had to dive into my past to help I reanalyze Cestelia. I ended up reliving the time I spent with my mom before I came to the city. <laughs> right, who was that? <laughs> I need to save Astrum close while there's still time. She said I'm actually living in a dream of the future, set one day ahead of reality. Mm -hmm. Maya. ahead is still undecided Maya everything will be okay come on let's go home Noel and Lily are waiting for us how thank you I'll go on ahead okay there goes the ball again. Okay, so we're now on the pro, and yeah, I can appreciate the graphics, even though the resolution might be a little bit lower than I expected, but still good. It must be seven days since the clock tower started up. You need to wake Maya up as soon as you can. I dread to think what had happened to her if she stays trapped inside AD. Hmm. Maya? Oh. You're here. Enthusiastic as always. No. You knew that she was in AD, didn't you? Yeah, I knew that a part of her was. But right now, I can't sense her presence in AD. You don't have to worry about Maya anymore, Noel. Hal, she's... Me. <laughs> Maya, do you have any memories of her? Who do you mean? The little girl in AD. Yeah, I remember everything. Oh, okay. Do you remember talking to me when you were in Cecilia's body? I do. It all feels so fresh still. Even what happened three years ago. Really? What about you, Hal? Can you remember anything from back then? Kinda blurry still. Me? It's starting to come back, slowly. The trouble is, none of it makes any sense. Why did I help the professor with the experiment? I don't know. You never told me. Hmm. I have no idea what I was thinking back then. Maybe it was my fault you ended up in a coma. No, Hal. That was all because... <sighs> it just came to me. I spoke with the professor on the morning before the experiment. He told me that when the clock started, you'd die. Okay. He said that was your fate. That there was no way to avoid it. We made a pact. I promised to search AD for as long as it took. 
exploring different timelines until I found a future where you survived. That's why you were in AD this whole time? I mean, it makes sense. Finally. The professor merged part of me with AD in the experiment three years ago. And he set things up so that you'd be trapped in AD when the clock tower bell rang out. Also, you'd be here with us today. Well. <laughs> Hal, do you remember what's about to happen? The mayhem and destruction? What are you talking about? The incidents that take place at the Bureau tonight. How could you possibly know? These past seven days... Hal's been crossing future timelines with me. His consciousness was in the dream. One day ahead, in the real world, his body was just following the path his mind took in the future. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe that explains why you've been so out of it these past few days. It's like you've been half asleep this whole time. It's been kind of strange. We had no choice. It was either that... Or lose Hal forever. I know, but Hal, you're awake now, right? Yeah. Which means we only have one shot at whatever comes next. Oh, really? Lily, let's head to the Bureau. If we don't stop what's about to happen there, Ash and Elaine are going to die. Wait. Maya, you need to take it slow. No. How? You can't rush blindly into this. What's about to. Huh. No, I want to show Hal what's about to happen one more time. Give me a hand. Okay. Hal. Maya, there's no time. Hal, these incidents, they don't take place in one location. It won't be easy making the right choices to save everyone. Ooh. But if you investigate like you always do, you'll find the future you're hoping for. I'm sure of it. Okay, so that's for sure indicating multiple endings. But I wonder, like, because I'm assuming we can't reverse time then, would we have to replay everything? Like, it's all those time travel stuff. This is... Fragments of the future. What you can see takes place in a little over an hour. Around 1.30. So Ash and Elaine aren't the only ones who got caught up in this mess. Where did everything go wrong? I can only see fragments of events that haven't happened yet. We've only got one chance to make things right. There's no room for mistakes. That's why I'm here. Hal, you need to step into these time fragments and investigate the crime scenes. Hmm. Find out exactly what happened at each location. If you can manage that, we'll be able to stop all this from happening. Come on, let's go. So like a perfect score in every situation. That seems rough. Investigate the incidents before they take place. Find the truth at the heart of all this. That's our only option. Oh, he died as well? Cool. What's gonna happen with her? <laughs>
I guess now I'm just gathering information and then the real thing will happen later on. The record shows Estili was accessed via AD at midnight. That's when they woke up. I need to pay attention now. <laughs> if they were up and active by that point, it's already too late to stop what happened here. That looks like a laser wound on the right side of her torso. Cecilia woke up, took Irie's gun, then shot her and headed straight for the bureau. Um, did that happen? Or is gonna like? <laughs> it's gonna get so confusing now. Irie collapsed right next to the pod. I'm guessing that's how she managed to activate it. What now? <laughs> hmm. You knew Irie, didn't you? Yeah, we used to play together in the clock tower sometimes. In the clock tower? That's where they kept Lily. I used to go and visit her. You know, I always thought that Irie was killed in the clock tower disaster. Hmm. <laughs> Any leads? Yeah. Let's check elsewhere. Okay, but I think it is gonna be a good time to end because... In the next videos I'll inevitably make, I need to really make sure I'll do everything right if they say it's one chance, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be able to repeat this. I mean, now that she woke up, it seems like she's saying more clear stuff to me rather than just vague information like we used to get. Not much to say really because we already know that this Kronia is a pretty good game overall. It's just that now it's gonna be like finally the culmination of the whole plot point and I really wonder how it will all end cause it's just a lot to take in. When we'll start the playthrough, um, I think after the mixture we'll finish which will be relatively soon so see you in a few days or a week, we'll see.